Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another how-to video. In today's video, I'm going to take this really cool thing figure from the new Fantastic Four Wave. We're going to weather it up, make it look a little bit better. Alright, so let's talk a little bit in regards to this particular figure. So, Marvel's Thing figure. Uh, this is by far my favorite Fantastic Four character. I really, really just love this thing. The biggest problem I've all, always had with them is it's missing something. It's missing detail. In other words, you can't really see any of its... Um, cracks and crevices and, and so forth and so I think this is a really cool figure to just customize and have some fun with and just to give you a little bit of you know perspective so this particular thing figure right here it actually came uh, weathered like this and you can see the actual detail difference I mean it's it's spot on um, really, really cool figure. It just makes it look so, so much better. And then along comes the Walgreens exclusive thing, which was like this one. It was pretty much all orange and you really didn't see any detail to it. Well, I took it up a notch and I weathered it. And this is what I came up with, with that particular figure figure. Now, if you notice Mine is a little bit more heavily weathered. Uh, that's the look I was going for to where this one is more weathered in the cracks and crevices where mine is weathered pretty much all over. So, you know, you can see where I'm going with this. So we've got to make this one look better. Not saying it's not a good looking figure. It just needs to, it just needs a little bit more. So i tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to get it out of the box and I'm going to, I'll show you what I'm actually going to try a new technique, one I've never used before. So I've, this was with paint. Um, I actually did some weathering with shoe polish on the um, Hydra Stomper figure when I made that display. I'm going to try another approach. It may work, it may not, but anyway, let me get this opened up. I'll get the supplies out. We'll talk about it, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the figure unboxed, and just such a cool figure. I mean, look at it. I mean, just so cool looking. But again, he just needs something else. But the figure actually is really, really, uh, really, really cool. Um, I haven't actually messed too much with it, but articulation-wise... You know, it's it's thing, but I'm not really uh, too worried about that. He does come with uh, two fisted hands, which is really cool. And he also comes with this uh, grimacing face, which honestly, I think that's the one that I want to um, I want to work on. I don't know. I sort of like I sort of like that that look, that grimacing look, you know. This one looks just as like, you know, huh? <laughs> I'm just, I mean, but to me, that one looks better. So, but anyway, uh, fist and hands, uh, this one that I actually did, it's got his fisted hands. Uh, this other one, I like the open hands, I think a little bit better. So that's cool. I'm not going to worry too much about those, but yeah, it's a cool figure. Very, very cool. So let's talk about the process that I'm going to use today. So we got shoe polish. We got paint. Uh, Citadel makes a thing called Shade uh, Nun Oil. Um, I have never used this before for this particular application. Um, I'm actually going to probably try it on the fist first just to give me a little bit of, you know, what it looks like. I may use it. I may not. Uh, but I got got my paper towels, got my gloves. So, uh, yeah, we, we may go back to something a little bit more uh, sturdier. But 
for now we're going to uh we're going to try this out so yeah let's get started all right so this uh this nun oil is uh, that's actually what it's called right there it's very very watery so i don't i truthfully don't know uh, how it's going to turn out like i said i've never particularly used this on this type of application but we're going to see uh with it being so much more watery it should penetrate the uh the cracks and crevices a lot better but you can see i'm just just putting it all over it let me uh just give it a little bit of a dab okay okay so it actually penetrates really really good into the uh, cracks and crevices right there so yeah that's uh, that's actually not bad at all and I like the fact that it's not as uh, thick as a paint or as shoe polish but yeah right there this is but you can see right there just you know give it a give it a little bit of a, a coat and i'm just lightly dabbing it off just on the surface oh yeah that is yeah that's going to work really really good so yeah I dig it. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go wash this figure now just to make sure all the oils and stuff's off of it. And uh, we'll come back and we'll get started on the uh, the main figure. All right. We got, we got him all cleaned up and uh, we're going to get this party started. I actually went and got a little bit of a wider of a brush because I just want to get this coverage as good as I possibly can. It's not a lot of like really fine detail work. We're basically just covering the whole figure. So this is literally the easiest uh, type of customizing you can do is this right here. I mean, it does not get any simpler. Whether you use watered down paint or uh, shoe polish, whatever medium you want to use is entirely up to you All right i don't want to get too far ahead and some of these cracks are going to be deeper than others so but i mean right there you can already see a huge difference if you look at the upper back compared to the lower back just an amazing amount of uh, difference right there. Uh, another cool thing is uh, you can actually use uh, his arms, put him in a push-up position. And this actually uh, helps out quite a bit. You know, you don't have to hold him as much. And I'm really concentrating in the cracks, in the crevices then just come over and I'm only going to do like a section at a time. And that way I can come back and apply more or less, but, oh man, that's just, that is just popping out so much better now. So much better. Let's get this lower back right here. But yeah, this Citadel uh, oil, it is really, really, I got to give my buddy uh, Josh, uh, Winzilla Reboot, you know, he's the one that really turned me on to these Citadel paints, and they are amazing. And like I said, this is the first time I've used this particular uh, oil in this type of application, so... I am really, really pleased with how it's how it's doing right now. It just flows um, because, like I said, it's so watery. It just flows into these uh, 
cracks and crevices. So yeah, that's spot on. This is this is good stuff right here. Definitely, definitely highly recommend uh, using this. If you if you have the ability to get some at a local uh, uh, game store or comic books or wherever they do like uh, Warhammer or things like that, uh, usually Citadel Paints are sold in those uh, locations. All right. Oh, man. So much of a difference. Wow. Look at that. Compared to this leg that hadn't been done yet. So, so cool. And again, I'll probably uh, go back over it again. Just to fill in. Because so once this layer actually um, sort of dries a little bit, I'll come back over and probably do some more highlighting and more detail work as far as putting a little bit more color here and there where I think it needs it. But you can see uh, how watery it is right there. I mean, it's such a cool paint. I mean, this is like, this is like water. <laughs> It is severely, I mean, all joke, all joking aside, that's exactly what this is like. It literally runs like water. But yeah, there's the there's the back right there. Very, very cool. Um let's go ahead and uh let's do this arm right here. Get this thing. We'll do the bicep first. And as you can see, I mean, it's, I'm not like being extra careful with it. I'm just basically just slathering it on. Get the forearm. Such a difference. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you've never, you know, if you've never customized a, a, an action figure, why not? I mean, give it a shot. I mean, the just you know, have fun with it and look. look. So look at the the differences in the arms right there. I mean, look at that compared to that. So much better. Um, but you know, I mean, it's it's fun to do this. To be honest with you, it's um, it is really really fun. You know, you, you look at a figure, you know, we go to the stores, we see the figures on the shelves and everything, and we're like, oh, that's so cool, you know. And every single one of us, I think, can say that we have looked at a figure and go, what if it was like this, you know? I think we all have done that. I, I mean, I do it all the time. I'm always looking at figures and be and thinking that, you know, wow, you know, what if it, what if it looked like this? And what if it looked like that? And, um, so this gives you an opportunity to really take it to the next level and, uh, customize a figure. And as long as you like it, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it really, truly does not matter. As long as you like it, that's the only thing. Uh, I mean, you could take the thing figure and paint it purple if you wanted to. If that's what you want, then so be it. That's the way it's going to be. But you can uh, you can see how quick this is going. I mean, this like I said, I'm not I'm not going to do a time lapse or nothing like that. We're just going to paint this thing up and let you guys see the the results and. I'll uh, show you show this one. I, I mean, I'm gonna show you the differences once I get this one done. So far, I think I'm actually I'm liking this one a little bit better so far. But the one I did with the paint that's so dark, I actually I dig that one though. I really do. I mean, it's I'm a big fan of of weathering things and. Um, 
customizing them or, or trying to trying to learn how to do it and um, you know you're going to make mistakes uh, and that's part of anything anything I mean everything worth doing um, is is hard let's let's just be honest if if it was easy you know everybody'd be doing it but you know just taking your time finding some some you know spare time in your day and you know grabbing a paintbrush and just having fun i'm trying to be a little careful here i don't uh i don't necessarily want to get none on the teeth so this one may be a little a little trickier just try to get the front of his face right here All right, let's see. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. But no, I mean, just getting out, having fun with your figures and, and you know, learning new things. And that's, that's just fun to me. It just takes things to the next level. And, you know, now this, this particular figure here, uh, no one's going to have this one. This one's mine. I've customized it. I've done it the way I, and even if somebody comes along and, and does this very same thing and they watch this video, they go out and buy some null oil and they actually do the same thing that I'm doing right now. It's still going to be different. It's still going to look a little different. And that figure is going to be that person's and this figure is mine. So that's the beauty of this. customize them, make them, you know, your own, give them your own spin. Oh, this is so cool. I'm going to show you this, this whole section right here is just, I mean, it is just wet. <laughs> it is, it is wet. And so far, I'm only uh, went through one one towel so far. Which that's another thing when you're doing the paint or the shoe polish, uh, your towel actually gets really saturated uh, pretty quick. All right, let's do this lower. Get this rib cage area right here. Uh, another thing too, when you're doing this, it makes it real easy to find spots that you haven't done yet. Obviously, because there's no, you know, like right here, I'm not putting any right there. So it definitely makes coming back and double checking your work so much easier. Oh, this. This is, this is so going to be uh, turning out so much better. I've often asked myself why, uh, I, I sort of know the answer to it, but I've always amazed me when I see figures like this or the Hydra Stomper um, that aren't really weathered, don't have, you know, any details or anything like this. And I know from a kid's perspective, it's irrelevant. Um, they don't think about this right here like adults do or adult collectors. But I don't know. It just, to, to me, it just seems like there's a, a, a niche out there that if you could actually, if they would do it, I think a lot of uh, adult collectors would really chime in and, and has some really positive things to say. And, but on the flip side of it, if they did it, then I wouldn't be able to do this right here. And let me tell you, this is fun. And as you can see, we are down to the last leg. I mean, this is how quick you can do this. And I know this video may not be exciting to most, but um, there was people actually made comments when I asked if 
they wanted uh, me to show me doing this and a lot of people uh, wanted to see it. So that's the premise for this video. Um, I was going to do this anyway. And I thought about it and I thought, you know what, let's just do it real time. No time lapses. And that way you'll get a good idea on actually how long it would take to do this at your house if you decide to do this with your thing figure. All right, let's get this. And I'm gonna show you something else here in just a second. I need to get the bottom of his feet. Don't forget the bottom of the feet. <laughs> Believe it or not, um, when I first did the Walgreens one, I actually did forget the bottom of the feet and he looked really, really silly with his feet not weathered. All right. And it doesn't need to be a lot, but all right. So this part of the rag that actually I've been using, this is the one that I'm going to just dab on uh, the trunks just to give it a little bit of on the white especially is where you'll see it. Uh, that's usually the first thing I do. I don't usually try to go too crazy um, on the, the, I like the blue, but yeah, there we go, right there. Boom. All right, so i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and I'm gonna just look over him, see if there's anything I missed and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you the final, final, product and I will do a comparison with the other ones. All right, everybody. So we wrap things up for this uh, quick little customizing of the theme figure. Um, I'm a really big fan of the uh, nun oil now. Uh, it's really, really great. This is the actual new one here. It's coming around and I wanted to get all three of them so you guys could see the differences. So there's the one we just did today. Uh, this is the one that I did with the uh, paint. It's a little bit more darker. And this one right here coming around is, I do believe, I can't remember where I got it, but it's like a, a factory one, I do believe. But overall, very, very cool. Uh, I am totally digging the way, uh, the way mine turned out. I think it came out really really good it's subtle but yet it really does convey uh, what it should compared to the original uh, orange color so yeah grab a thing figure you know customize it make it something different um, and you could go a little further you could do some browns and things like that but to be honest with you i'm i'm pretty just happy doing the the black get it in the cracks but Oh man, I, I will say this though, um, I'm still partial to this one a lot. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's a little heavier, a little grimier. Um, I still like this one here, but there you go. There's all three of them. Two of them might customize one. I didn't, but if you have the new, uh, fantastic four thing figure, I challenge you whether you use shoe polish, paint, um, or the Citadel Nun Oil, customize it. You know, make it your own. Uh, I actually saw when I did this one, uh, someone actually showed me where they used brown shoe polish. And the brown shoe polish actually gave it another look. So that was really cool. But anyway, give it a shot. Find a figure you like, you know, customize it. I mean... You can you can see it, it does make a difference in my opinion, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this video. Uh, let me know if you're going to attempt it. Uh, I say do it. I think you'll rock it. I think it'll turn out great. So yeah, just do it. Uh, but that's it. We're done. Uh, but let me know. Let me know what you think about the uh, what I did with it. Also, if this is your first time to my channel. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure you got notifications turned on. 
That way you'll know when I drop videos. That way you'll know when I go live. And one last thing, customizing toys will refresh your soul. I'll see you next time. Thank you.